Hello Blazers, it is your boy Roman, your favorite neighborhood Russian, and also a person who apparently doesn't get enough sleep. How are you guys doing today? Welcome to a brand new video. In today's video, guys, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. You see, guys, a while ago I made this video on uh, Russians who think that Putin actually has clones. And one thing I did in that video is that I included a clip of Vladimir Putin, the Russian president, speaking English. Thank you for your attention, and I hope for your support. And it turns out that actually that a lot of Westerners and people who watch my channel even uh, actually had no idea that Putin is even able to speak English at all and they were completely just freaked out by that clip. So I thought to myself, why don't I make a video reacting to Putin speaking English and maybe point out some classic Russian mistakes or whatever, kind of discuss his accent and rate his English skills in general. So that is exactly what we're doing today. Just a disclaimer, this video is not political, it is purely educational and linguistic, okay? I, uh, I don't want to die. So, Putin actually has been spotted speaking English on multiple worldwide events and multiple video addresses, sort of. I'm pretty sure he does have some level of fluency in English. He's not like some other Russian officials who have been spotted speaking English before, literally written off a prompt and just being absolutely awful, like this guy, for example. Let me speak from my heart in English. Tomorrow that meeting with its Euro Association, measured with its recommendation, national association, the Euro. Ah, absolutely. Absolutely incredible. But yeah guys, before we really dive in into Putin speaking English, I would like to tell you guys that today's video is once again sponsored by May. I am once again asking you guys to buy my U2s. If you guys don't know what U2s is, U2s are these little YouTube vinyl figurines that you can buy for yourself as a little souvenir to sort of have for yourself and also support my channel. It's the sort of vinyl Funko Pop-like figurine that resembles myself sitting in a Gopnik pose which I designed myself actually with U2s and essentially you can have it as a little souvenir for yourself or whatever. The quality is real nice, it looks really really sick, I love it, you know, everybody, a lot of people already got this, Bold and Bankrupt has one. So yeah, let's sell these out for God's sake. Go, go over to youtube.com slash product slash nfkz and get yourself one as a little souvenir for yourself a little merch and support my channel the link is down in the description go buy it and let's continue on with the video ladies and gentlemen <laughs> i am delighted to be guys what is this this is white pudding <laughs> I know just the aspect ratio in this video is messed up because they recorded it vertically, I guess, but <laughs> Putin is gonna be real wide in this video. Members and guests of the General Assembly of the International Exhibitions Bureau. Russia has a long and rich experience of participation in the World Expo movement. He's doing pretty well, actually. Uh, pronunciation isn't too bad. But to me, it does feel like a little bit like his... The way he speaks is that um, his accent is so strong and it's also, I guess, because of his German speech, he's kind of squeezing the words out of him you know you really see it's like it's a struggle for him to speak it's not like a natural uh, sort of flow of speech of in english it's not the same as when he speaks in russian it's kind of like russia has a rich in experience you know he really has to like harden it up to pronounce these words experience this is just what happens that uh, when a person le learns a language like english you know pretty late into their life i assume the earlier you essentially start learning language the better you will be and i don't think you know he studied english in in his childhood or something like i did so i have kind of an advantage in that way, you know. We took part in the very first Universal Exhibition in London in 1851. London? I like that. I like that, Mr. Putin. I like that. You didn't say London or something. <laughs> Our pavilion won the coldest gold medal and Grand Prix. <laughs> that was very Russian. That was very Russian. Not the Grand Prix, but Grand Prix. Grand Prix. Very Russian. Russia has not hosted the World Expo. Not once. Surely, time has come to change this. So, we proudly submit our bid to host World Expo 2020 in Yekaterinburg. I can definitely see he's really trying with articulation. Uh, everything he pronounces, so we proudly submit to host, you know? It's an important speech, he's really making sure the, um, the message gets across. We are going to build a massive state-of-the-art complex with the capacity to host 30 million visitors over the course of the event. You definitely hear he has a classic Russian sort of problem where people confuse the V and W. W and V. It wasn't really events as much as it was events. He didn't really say over the course. It's like o over, over the course. It's a classic thing what Russians do all the time. We just don't have the W sound in our language. You know what I mean? We don't have the W. We don't take Ws. We only take Ls. This sometimes happens even to me as well, but pretty rarely. But you can definitely see that, you know, this is not something that Putin has yet mastered. Now? Once again, I would like to make this very, very clear. clear. <laughs> Russia 
<laughs> Sorry guys, I just kind of know this speech by heart because there was a very big viral uh, YouTube poop or kind of uh, remix made on this video, but um, I will not play it because I don't want to go to jail, but uh, it was it was good. <laughs> Maybe somebody in the comments will let you guys know what I'm talking about, but I will not say what I'm talking about. Russia guarantees that they fulfill the complete range of requirements set by the International Exhibitions Bureau. Kind of lost his train of thought there, he just kind of went fulfill you know but yeah so far it's pretty well i actually i actually clearly understood basically everything in this not a single word was has been lost and i think that is the main uh, point of communication if your message gets across if people understand you it doesn't really matter the way you uh, say it you know what i mean so putin's speech right here has been pretty successful in my eyes it is a great honor for me to address you today and to present the bit of sochi to host the olympic winter games in 2014 Yes, yes, of course, classic Russian, classic Russian stuff right here. This is the staple of the Russian accent. If you guys want to do a Russian accent in English, just forget how to say th and th, okay? Those sounds do not exist in Russian language. Instead of th, you gotta say s, and instead of the, just say z, z. To host the Olympic Winter Games in 2014. The Olympic Winter Games, there you go. David has enthusiastic support of the whole of Russia. That was, that was really, that really sounded German as hell, man. Enthusiastic support. The way he said enthusiastic there, that was super German. And I, I'm not even German, although I don't speak it, but that, that just sounded German. Sochi is a unique place. On the seashore, you can enjoy a fine spring day. But up in the mountains, it's winter. Ah, uh, I love it. Just so, it's like, you know, it's like Life of Boris speaking or something, you know, mountains. The beautiful mountains. The Russian accent is kind of adorable if you think about it, to be honest. The ancient Greeks lived around Sochi lots of centuries ago. The Asian Greeks? <laughs> the ancient Greeks? I know he said ancient, but it just really sounded like Asian Greeks to me, you know? I also saw the rock near Sochi, to which as legends has Wait, it... Wait, what? That, I truly did not understand that. Wait, what? I also saw the rock. What? I also threw the rock? I also threw thigh rock? What is he say? What is I also threw the rock near Sochi, to which, as legend has it, Prometheus was chained. Oh, okay, I see, okay. To which, as legend has it, Prometheus was chained. <laughs> That's so Russian, too. It's like, legend has it. <laughs> Russian doesn't have a soft sound, you know, like you guys in English, like, hi. We have <laughs> That's what we have in Russian, okay? So most Russians who are not like super trained in like English pronunciation, whenever they say any English word with a sound H in it, they say H. So instead of hi, you get hi. Legend has it. <laughs> Millions of citizens of Russia are united by the Olympic dream. The Olympic dream. All Russians are united by the dream. I mean, to be honest, Sochi has drip after that Olympics. That, that was a W for Russia, you know, that Olympics that uh, put in squads. I've been to Sochi recently. Check out my video. I, I recorded a vlog about it. Sochi looks pretty sick right now. So uh, W, W on that one. And we shall be happy. Happy to see you in Russia and in Sochi as our guests. Monsieur le Président, membre du CEO, Mesdames et Messieurs, Soutenez, s'il vous plaît, le rêve olympique des millions de Russes qui attendent votre décision avec l'espoir. Je vous remercie. Bars! Bars! Drop some bars, drop some fire heat in French at the end as well. How could they have not given Sochi the Olympic uh, Games in 2014 after that? That speech was a banger, okay? You guys know I'm not even a fan of Putin, but that was sick. That was sick, okay? <laughs> but we all know that's the old Putin, you know? That's the, uh, that's not the new fake one, right? You know, Putin has clones. We all know that, you know, classic, classic, classic conspiracy. Do you think that this is a turning point in relations between Russia and the West? <laughs> Again, it's white Putin. <laughs> What if he actually looks like this, you know? Like, most majority of the videos of Putin online I've seen, he's white. I know this guy's white as hell as well in this video, but... <laughs> Starting to think like a conspiracist, maybe he is actually that white and all the videos we see are not altered. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. Come on. Uh, I think no. I hope no. Uh, all of us, we need uh, cooperation in uh, some areas. We said about it uh, during the, our... Talks, yeah. 
our meeting. You can definitely hear Putin when he's not speaking in a prepared speech environment. He doesn't sound as like, you know, assertive in English. I mean, I guess, you know, it's hard when, you know, he obviously speaks English because he was able to just, you know, respond to that guy right off the bat, you know. He doesn't sound like he is as confident when he speaks English as he is when he speaks Russian in a non-prepared speech setting. And that is totally normal, I feel like, because actually this is something I experienced myself. I feel like uh, there's a saying, right? Like the more languages you know, the more personalities you have essentially. And I do feel like, you know, my personality kind of changes as well when I speak English as compared to when I speak Russian. I've actually noticed this by your guys' comments as well in my videos. For example, that video I did with Bold and Bankrupt in which we spoke Russian only. I got some comments from people saying that Roman sounds way different, more relaxed, more chill, and maybe even more confident and uh, more attractive. Some people said even uh, when I speak Russian and well, I guess that's true. Your personality does change a little when you speak a different language and uh, put in with Putin, I feel like definitely English, you know, is not his main forte per se. So he might sound less confident in English than he does in Russian. There's also this video in which Putin apparently drops some bars in English. Let's check it out. Future starts here and now. Future is you. <laughs> bars. All the best, dear friends. All the best. <laughs> Thank you. Well, you see guys, that's the new Putin, you know, that's not the old Putin and he st can still speak English. So screw you conspiracy nuts, you know, it's the same guy. <laughs> they, we need a new starting point to revive the spirit of hockey. <laughs> and I took time too, to <laughs> learn to skate. Uh, and I must admit, it was not easy. One of the main things um, I need to point out about Putin's accent is that he has, he suffers uh, in his accent from a thing that a lot of Russians can't quite get right, is the sound uh, T, uh, or T, actually. You know, the letter T in Russian is pronounced differently. Uh, believe it or not, you know, it's the same letter as you have in English, but it's a different sound. So in English, you'd say like, for example, T, you know, time, whatever. When you say the English sound T, you essentially put your tongue to the roof of your mouth, so it makes that sound. Russian sound T is different. It's actually T. Instead of putting your tongue uh, to the roof of your mouth, you actually put it on your upper teeth. So, for example, you have words like tarelka, stool, televizor. This is a hard thing for a lot of Russians when speaking English. When they uh, say these words in English that have the T sound, they still use the Russian T sound, you know, T, instead of using the English T. And this is exactly what Putin is doing here. Fact. Today we need today. I took time too. I took time too. Okay, this is the best example. I think I feel like just three words sounded with T. I took time too, not I took time too, because he says the Russian sound instead of the English sound. So this is a very very common thing for the Russian accent. If you want to learn how to speak with a Russian accent, learn how to say the Russian sound T. That's like one of the more the main things, you know. Because we shall put our hearts and minds in the work to be done. Okay, I feel like that is super German right here. I feel like that is remnants of his like German speech. Instead of saying work, he says, it's kind of like work, you know, like the German word, you know, like craft work. Very, very German. I guess the last thing we could react today is this absolute classic banger from Putin. Uh, I found my thrill <laughs> on Blueberry Hill. <laughs> my dreams Hi. came true. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> yeah guys, I don't know either. I have I have no clue either, but it's pretty cool, I guess. <laughs> Anyways guys, I guess that is going to be pretty much it for today's video. We reacted to a bit of uh, Putin speaking English. My verdict is, at, at the end of it all, uh, Putin's pretty good. And especially considering the fact that he's also able to speak German and that he's also uh, apparently knows a little bit of French and stuff, I guess, too. It's pretty cool. You know, in this regard, Putin kind of gets my respect, you know what I mean? Yeah guys, that's gonna be pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys did find this video funny or informative in some way. If you guys did enjoy today's video, please make sure to slap the like button on it. If you guys want to support me, support what I do on this channel, then make sure to go over to the link down in the description to my Patreon, donate to it, I would gladly appreciate it, it helps me out a lot. Also, you know guys, once again, go ahead down to the link description, buy my YouTubes, yada yada yada. This is gonna be pretty much it for today's video, thank you guys so much for watching it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.